is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, right? <laughs> oh god. So, guess who forgot to do their inventory management until way too late? A spoiler alert, it me. It's fine. I'm actually in Skyhold right now. I just got rid of um, all the extra weapons and everything. Um, so we're down to 41, and I think I actually have a few sigils I can dump in my um, sword spin chest thing. So that'll free up a couple more slots. So hopefully we won't have to mess around with that too much today. Fast forward to an hour from now where my inventory is full. <laughs> Oh, come on, let me warp back there. Boo! Let's just warp over here. Oh, God. So, yeah, I had been planning on doing some plot today, however... Thank you, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Sam. Look, you have a new fish! Also, yay, Twitch baby! Purple fish. Yeah. Um. Should I put that on Varric's thing? Let's see. Well, now it's gone forever. Hang on. <laughs> He's already got Bianca Arms 4 on. Let's take that and see. Anyway, I had been doing, planning on doing some plot today. Um, that is being put on hold because the maintenance thing that was supposed to happen yesterday while I was not trying to stream did not happen, so... I kind of don't want to get started on plot and a lot of things that'll have cutscenes in the event that, uh, you know, they show up and I have to leave for a bit. Which is fine, because we still have plenty to do in the Western Approach. Varric, what do you have on Oh, you don't have anything on there. Hmm. Yes. Okay. And yeah, so we're down to 38 of 90. I think we'll be okay. Which most definitely means that we will not be okay. <laughs> Lord Trifle's minutiae. <laughs> Who is that? And why are you down there? What the hell? How do we get down there? Also, look. You've gathered quite the collection. Wonder how many are in the set. Who's in there? Oh, it's Thrine. Okay. I want to go talk to Lord Trifles. How do I get down there? Where's Varric? Uh-oh. We lost sight of him. Pink for Varric. Seriously, one of these places leads downstairs. Ugh, I don't care enough. We'll deal with it later, yay! The perfect space for knocking sense into each other. And straight. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
yeah, I need to put in some more upgrades. Where? I don't exactly remember. But I know that I had to do several of them. Cassandra, what's good? I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corythius has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use lyrium. I assume Corythius gained control of the Templars by corrupting the lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. I was just gonna say, yeah, all of those uh, villagers also weren't regularly taking lyrium, and look what happened to them. This is important to you. Yes. <laughs> Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance, if we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Ah, oh, it's been great. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. And that's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. All right. I tracked the wardens to Adamant Fortress Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. That's all she has to say, Varric. Honey. Okay. You just hang out with your good buddy Hawk. I kind of miss Dragon Age 2. Kind of. Let's see, what else can we do? Ah, yes. That's what I wanted, actually. I believe that's an upgrade. I can't go in there. The veil holds no uncertainty for Sit her. up there. And she will know Boo! No the Making me climb, climb stairs. Actually, while I'm here. That guy standing in the... Yep, yeah he is. Sir.
All right. Go ahead and pick those up. Maybe upgrade some potions at some point soon. see this though I am flesh your light is ever present and those I have called they remember and they shall endure I shall sing with them the chant and all will know we are yours and none will stand before us yay I have to stand in this spot. Why would they tease me like this? Mantle! I have to run over Jim for interrupting our private moment. there. Yes, we are going mage. I feel like it would be great insult to the mages we have taken in to suddenly say, hey, Templars. Great to do here. Maybe it was just that one that I ke kept getting notifications about. Stroud, do you have anything new to say? Guess we'll talk to you now while we're here. We track Berryman to Adamant Fortress. Hopefully, we can stop this madness. How could the Wardens willingly sacrifice their own members to summon demons? Grey Wardens leave their lives behind and dedicate themselves to fighting the Blight, no matter the cost. Our actions may be brutal, even reprehensible, but we know that the alternative is worse. The rituals, the sacrifices, it's too far, even for me. But I can understand them making the decision. Had I not known Corypheus was involved, I might have bowed my head and accepted my orders. We'll talk later. Oh boy. Yeah, warden life is not great. Yes, we are running all the way around so we can go visit Cullen. Because... There you are. Were you waiting for me? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can come back later if you'd prefer. No. Please stay. We have some dealings in Ferelden. I was hoping you might accompany me. When you can spare the time, of course. Is something wrong? What? No. I, I would rather explain there, if you wish to go. Just... what? <laughs> Let us away. I believe there's time now. I will make the necessary arrangements. I actually didn't know he was going to do this right now, but, uh, you know, since we're here.
And we're loading. Where are we? You walk into danger every day. I wanted to take you away from that, if only for a moment. I grew up not far from here. This place was always quiet. Did you come here often? I loved my siblings. They were very loud. I would come here to clear my head. Of course, they always found me eventually. You were happy here. I was. I still am. The last time I was here was the day I left for Templar training. My brother gave me this. It just happened to be in his pocket, but he said it was for luck. Templars are not supposed to carry such things. Our fate should see us through. <laughs> You're not very lucky. You broke the Order's rules. I'm shocked. Until a year ago, I was very good at following them. <laughs> Most of them. This was the only thing I took from Ferelden that the Templars didn't give me. Humor me. You don't know what you'll face before the end. This can't hurt. Yay! I don't need luck. I need you to keep it or just thank you. I'll keep it safe. Yay! So I have that now. So I can be lucky or something. Okay. Anything else we needed to do? Weren't we gonna go talk to Josephine about something? On Monday? I feel like I forgot to do that. Because I got distracted talking to somebody else. Hang on, let's save after we did that. Tell Lord Dorian that I can't get him an invitation to the Winter Sun Ball in Lille. He won't be surprised. He said it would probably be beyond you. It's not beyond me, it's... <sighs> Tell him I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Oh, wait, no. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. I think we are good to go. Blackwell's still not going to have anything to say. All right. Let's go summon us a dragon. Is this not what I want? Oh, my God, which one is the camp that I actually want? <laughs> that one. Okay. We're good. <laughs> and we'll take Blackwall again because more Warden stuff. We might find some more and, you know, I don't want him to get snippy again. All right. 
Alright. Yes, yes, very good. Yeah, I don't it remember if we can actually like fight this dragon or if we're just looking at it. Here. Ah, fellow researcher, how can I help you? Eh, we've already talked all that. Hmm. We'll have to speak some other time. Okay. What did we need to do? Ah, okay, so we did actually need to go up to that. That would have helped if I had read that. <laughs> okay. Good start, good start. We're doing well today. Oh, Lord. Okay. There's just loot over here. Excuse me. Gonna try to be better <laughs> with inventory stuff. As long as I can remember the relative DPS values of what I just equipped, I think we'll be okay. Better time is now. Apparently. Okay. Is that more white claw over there? Looks like it. you Taina made a terrible decision oh no these are just venatory okay oh let's not walk right into that oh jeez that's why that is why So the Venatori want to keep us out. Shall we disappoint them? Disappointment's what I do best. Let's roll. Ah, mosaic piece. Give me that. All this death root. Aquamarine! We need that in Minecraft, not this game. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do for my project. Go harvest some of that for you guys. Preserved note, the preserved letter found on the body of a messenger. Valorin, you are right to doubt. Palladius will not be swayed. If this letter was sent, then it is sealed. Send aid. Okay. What are all these names? 
Okay, we got some more death root. More actual loot here. Venatory cipher. Is there anything cool up here? Yes, there is. Never mind. <laughs> The point is, it's still loot, so we'll take it. I'm not immediately putting our armor into... Oh, yeah, get rid of that, god. Into valuables, because I haven't looked through that. I've only looked through weapons. Okay. What is this? Written note. Morvin, Alexius has failed. The work here thus becomes all the more vital. Secure the site at all costs. The Elder One will not tolerate another mistake on our part. From service? Ooh. The still ruins. Okay. Let's go. This looks fine. All right, onward. That's fun. All right, who's played Wind Waker? so far. Which is great because a spellbinder one shot me earlier. <laughs> Venatory orders. A short letter accompanied by a map of the western approach. Several areas have been circled. Lucanus. The references are obscure, but they point to a single power, sealed at the height of the old empire. Deventer's involvement in the region predates the first blight. Detailed accounts of the location are non-existent, but there are some promising leads. You'll be provided with men and supplies. Do not return empty-handed. What if they just don't return at all? Is that better? Message fragment. Sentence fragment is also a sentence fragment. Powering down to conserve battery. Oh, this is rubbish. Let's do whatever and get out. Sarah hates it. Disable the time magic. Okay. Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. No. I'd say some ancient Tevinta decided to alter time. I'm surprised it didn't go better. Nothing's happening. The magic here is interfering with the anchor. Something, something, frozen time.
Should probably have finished exploring the main room before I started opening doors, but hey. The Hall of Silence. Okay. Actually, hang on to those. Something that sounds like a shard. Interesting. OBS is in the red. We dropping frames in here. Actually been doing okay the past uh past few streams. A couple little blips now and then, but not horrible. Do I wanna go down there? I don't know. Can open that door. What happens if I jump down here? <laughs> Apparently nothing, it won't let me. Boo! Finish exploring main room. shouldn't be opening all these doors because I'm going to forget to... Give me that. So many belts. I have to wear them all at once. We in Final Fantasy now. Responsible blood magic. Okay. Let me correct you, Apprentice. While it is true that blood magic is woven through the history of Tevinter, there are good reasons, quite aside from the Chantry sermons, that such arts are not frowned upon. Consider the ancient magisters who once attempted to map the fate itself. A worthy goal, perhaps, but a costly one. When their spells exhausted their lyrium supply, the ma ugh, magisters spilled the blood of countless slaves. To what end? The shifting nature of the Fade made the effort futile. And so much death left the Magisters open to possession by demons. Wasteful. Some still idolize Tyrina of the Rock, who used blood magic against the Kunari during the Steel Age. They say she cut her flesh on the shore of Marna's Pell as the Dreadnoughts sailed in, turned her spells against their crews, and boiled the very blood in their veins. Jesus. <laughs> a terrifying display to be sure, but against Kunari, it only made them more determined when they besieged the ports of Karastes. See, I started reading this because I didn't see any names in the first paragraph. I've been duped. And what of Magister Calanthus, that fool who believed he could make himself the ascended man with blood magic? Thirty-three slaves died in that rite, and Calanthus became an abomination so horrific that his apprentices tore out their eyes at the sight of him. Okay. He turned himself into Cthulhu. He's come to free you from the burden of sanity. Oh god, here's more names. You quote the examples of the lovers, Crescens and Seraphinian. Okay, that one wasn't bad. <laughs> yes, Seraphinian offered his own blood to cure Crescens of her t wasting disease, and Crescens lived a long life. But uh, if the noblest use of blood magic still calls for the death of a good man, is that not enough reason to reconsider? And now we loot. Okay. We got some good stuff there. Nope. Uh, 
Oh wait, that's only 224. We'll get rid of that one too. <laughs> no, thank you. Nothing back here, really. Alright. Get up there. Maybe from the other side. Aha. Okay. That's a big no. All right, let us move on. wish I could just immediately move that to valuables. Wasn't that an option in DA2? The texts describe a chamber. This must be it. Ah, uh, natural light! Okay. Hey, it was a shard. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a keystone. Dorian! Thanks, buddy. Research notes. Scrawled notes accompany several complex diagrams. Theoretically, it should be possible to draw energy from the fate itself. While I will not discount the obvious dangers, such risk can be circumvented through the use of a proper channel. Once the channel is stable, we should be able to manipulate the energy to our will. The power gain would be beyond measure. At this time, theory will take us no further. My hypothesis proves true. It will be an achievement unrivaled by any history that will all but ensure the immortality of the Imperium. Oh, good! That's a thing that we want. No. Get out of there. Up, oh, okay. We have picked up our manuscript. Very nice. Sorry, my leg is really itchy. Ah! My skin's all dry because I just showered. Okay.
Okay. Probably want Dorian to put that veil fire down. For now, as we're fighting these guys. Well, let's see what's in here first. Yoink. Word of what happened in Redcliffe had better not spread. Oh? Why not? You think mages will be better off if people know they can change the future? Ignoring that that's not the case, I suspect people will use any excuse to hate us. Then you should not give them more. Did everyone act like this when the sword was invented? Oh, my blushing butt cheeks. Round up everyone who can use these pointy things and lock them away. It is not the same thing, and you know it. <laughs> anyway. But yes, the normies knowing about the timey-wimey stuff is probably not good. A few hastily written notes are scrawled below increasingly per- Like, ah, buh, buh, help. <laughs> increasingly perplexing diagrams. Good lord. Blood to start, then from the channel itself. The slave trader had six strong enough for the task. Preparations are in place. Sarpedon will call one final meeting. I must speak to the others in advance. Okay. A series of disturbing diagrams is followed by a personal note. Oh, good. Sarpedon would cast doubt on our work here. I expected no less. He is Belorin's man. If he thinks to deter me, he will not succeed. Who accomplished anything through such fretting and hesitance? Let him be placated by his pointless precautions. If he wishes to question the validity of my theories, perhaps he should look more closely at his own. Okay. Crazy researcher guys are getting snippy. Alright. Time to fight. Dorian, honey, put that down. Oh uh, yeah, let's just run in there with Dorian anyway. Lucanus. Lucanus is a big boy. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> Ow. What did I just say about the hurting? Quick paralyze there. Alright. What are you working on over there, Sarah? Zap. Cool. message fragments here. Do I get that? I want it. There's loot in there and I need it. Hey, Keystone! He was carrying stone for a reason the markings on it i've heard of keystones that bear the same keep searching there may be more like this one right here yeah that was still lower I was gonna say, hey, that one's just floating. It's actually intentional here. As opposed to the other spots where we found things just floating. Okay. That's not showing up as loot anymore. Interesting. 
Alright, so I'm assuming this is the door we need the keystones for. Something else is still needed, I think. Yeah. We need one more keystone. Does a large boy. Where have we not been? Over there at that thing, apparently. Hang on. Is it really just over there on that side? <laughs> and I didn't see it. Yep. Right on. I want that. That must be the one I saw earlier. Get all this gold we're getting. <laughs> what did we need to do with the veil fire, though? That's usually here for a reason. Immediately hit wrong button. Give me that. Pick it up. Gotta fund the Inquisition somehow. Yeah, that's right. Just have Dorian run around with this for a little bit. A stone. Is this what they were after? Don't go poking. The whole place feels wrong. Sarah, we gotta poke. It's kinda why we're here. Okay, journal on certain experiments. This can only be good. The journal lies open on its final entry. Heladius ignores all results that do not support his own hypotheses, brushing them off as anomalies and expected deviations. He posits that there will be an acceleration on the channels in the channel's creation, and will no doubt test the theory without guaranteeing a secure channel that can even be maintained. Right on. Abe argued the inherent risks, the catastrophic terror in the veil that will result from such foolishness, but he has the others convinced. He grants only a sneering permission to conduct countermeasures in the event of failure. If I'm correct, the only course of action will be to redirect the resulting power into sealing the event itself. The odds of survival are less than ideal, but the surrounding lands will be preserved. Great. I like all of this blood. Nice aesthetic. Nothing else in here. Yoink! Tempest. I think I gave this to Dorian in my first playthrough, actually. Cool. There's a lot of good stuff on there. But it's only 97 DPS. Ow. I think time's blowing again. Head, don't go poking. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me tell you again about the poking. Okay, Dorian, honey, you need to put that staff down. Or not staff, Veilfire.
Okay, I'll give me my walking fortress. be going down to the floor today. There we go. You however might. Never mind, he's good. Alright, so this room's about to be fun. Hurry, before this gets worse. It's already worse, just kill them. Oh good, he's right here on top of us. What I wanted. Get out of here, despair demon. You don't have to. We're all done. Okay, we're done here. Ow. That just popped my shoulder. Lovely. Investigate ancient laboratory operation available. Cool. Let's save now that we're done in there. Still don't know if that veil fire was used for anything, if I just totally missed it or what, but. Oh, yeah, there's that shard that I don't know how to get to. And we should probably get Cassandra for that. But look, there's something for Blackwall over there. Lovely. Okay. Let's go take the dragon writings back to the dragon guy. After more than 30 days, I Does have yet love to observe dragons. the abyssal high dragon in... Oh, yes? Can I assist you? 
I found this manuscript on dragons in an ancient provincial laboratory. Will it help you? What remarkable diagrams. Are these chambers of the draconic heart? Oh, if only I could read the script. Do you perhaps know a linguist? Or a Taventer historian? Don't look at me. Nobody's spoken that form of Tavine in 700 years. I don't, but the Inquisition might. I'll speak to our specialist. Cool. We'll have to speak some other time. All right. Translate the dragon text. Operation available. Looks like we may be going back to Skyhold. Right now. Because if we don't, I will completely forget about it. <laughs> ah. Hopefully this isn't one that takes like six hours. That would not be great. We've almost discovered all the regions in the Western Approach already, which is good. Worship. I guess it's a relatively small area. War Council Assemble! Oh yeah, we got another perk. Three knowledge, pretty good. With rifts contained in the area, we can send in smaller groups to offer relief. I agree. Are you well? A headache, nothing more. Let's grab our master focus. Okay, let's see what we had going. Getting things moving. I'm not sure my back on them, but we have established agreements with the Tybalts. Their initial hatred of the Inquisition was a device, and they are willing to have us in their favor. Ooh. Cedar love the Gamordan Storm Rider. That sounds neat. Helping the people of Sarnia. Mistress Pool and supplies have reached Sarnia. Food and clothing are being divided among the populace according to need. In thanks, the town has given Inquisition several tons of their best granite as building material. Ooh! We're gonna have the nicest countertops. Hey, Galaxy! Oh, man! That sounds exciting and also rough. <laughs> oh, man. Glad you got that sorted out, though. I bet that was... That was a hassle, huh? But yeah, I'm doing good! Dragon Age is going okay. We've only had the game crash once, so, you know, still plenty of crazy bugs, though. But yeah, how are you doing? Are you, uh, settling in? Things starting to calm down a little bit? What was this? Nightingale, two points. One, that book is abysmal, and the entire code-breaking department wants to ritually set it on fire. <laughs> two, the message is double encrypted. The message in the mistakes is in a merchant's guild cipher. We have not yet broken the guild's code. Alright. Big 
Revenge of the Merchant's Guild is now available. Hmm. I'm afraid to click on that one that just says end. I don't know what that is. We do need to do that. Where is the... There we go. Translate the dragon text. Ambassador Montillier, I've been considering your last letter, and as I do owe you a debt of gratitude for handling the Cumberland incident, I think I have found something that may solve your mystery. I have an acquaintance in Minrathus who has a brother in that circle's College of Antiquities. A few favors, and he may be able to translate your ancient text, but I should warn you they are likely to be costly favors. Still, this may be your most promising avenue. Okay. Let's do it. Oh no, we only have 148 power. That's like nothing. Ah. Esteemed Ambassador Montillier, enclosed you will find the completed translation of your fascinating manuscript, which our scholars estimate to predate the first flight. The dialect caused quite a stir in historical linguistics. The College of Antiquities will be most interested in further cooperation with the Inquisition should you uncover more Tavine documents from the pre-blight era. Cool. New area unlocked. Oh, there's a dragon over there. Not going to be venturing there just yet. But yeah, let's check out this ancient lab. Nightingale, the last Venatori, have left the ancient laboratory in the wake of the Inquisitor's attack. We can be sure the secrets have been left behind. Those of the Venatori, the ancient Deventers, or both. We should not allow the desert to bury them. From Fisher. Let's see... Josephine, since there are Chantry scholars eager to see this ruins, we could salvage artifacts and earn their gratitude all at once. Or Liliana says we have agents, agents, wow, agents capable of disarming whatever traps and tricks remain and bring back valuables. Hmm. I think we should probably get rid of the traps. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the worst part about moving. You turn around and finish one area, and then you've got all these boxes and everything all over the place. Oh. I'm glad to hear it's getting better, though finally getting to settle in a little bit get to relax yeah let's get rid of those traps we have. of course I was going to do that but uh, hmm. oh wait that's the thing that uh, never mind never mind That's what I wanted. Making the Duperiquette's nobility is the key to stopping the assassination plot on Josephine's life. The first step is gaining them a noble sponsor. Countess Dion is willing to help in exchange for news about her lover, Ellerly, a mage who went missing after the Mage Templar War erupted. Liliana, their love affair was hardly secret. I will see if anyone marked where the missing mage went. Um, uh, the Cullen doesn't seem too invested. Ellie at least stood for the old circle order. I'll see if any of the loyalists gave him shelter. Considering this is uh, Josephine's deal, I'm gonna make her deal with it. Inquisitor. Something for Cullen to do. There's an invisible thing here that I cannot click on. That's special. 
I don't know if there's actually supposed to be something there or not. So you recall we are not going to be doing this one because Cole said no. Can't locate the missing seekers. I'm willing to bet that was probably for Liliana. I don't know. Reparations for Red Cliff. Let's see what this is. The letter has arrived, stamped with the seal of Red Cliff. As the Inquisition has assumed responsibility for the Mage Rebellion. Hold on, what? <laughs> the Arling of Red Cliff holds you accountable for the losses suffered by our people while holding while providing hospitality to your mage allies. What? A freehold in Rain's firm was burned to the ground when a mage inside lost control of his abilities. Two farms outside Redcliffe Village suffered crop loss and structural damage due to frost spells. Five people in Redcliffe Village were injured by lightning spells cast by panicked children. I trust this matter can be concluded without the involvement of the Crown. From Arl Tegan. Tegan, don't be a cranky pants. You chose to take over Redcliffe. You knew what you were getting into. You can send people to make repairs. Can arrange to pay reparations. It will require a loan, but we can manage it. Ma eh, manage it. Inquisitor. Colin, go send your people in there. <laughs> it's for Elden. You deal with it. Okay. Varric approves. A lot of stuff happening here. Okay, now that we've gotten that taken care of, let's save. And while we're here, let's go dump all that stuff that I put into valuables. Save us a little bit of time. Also, all those sigils we just picked up. Sigil of the Nug. Plus 25% healing bonus, minus 25% attack. Nah. Yeah, our inventory is already up to 60 something. Ah, okay, that's better. And we'll save a little fast after we did that. Alright. Let's go find us a dragon. Go ahead and grab Cassandra. So we can run up to uh, that area. Where she wants to look for the Seekers. Or whatever that was up there. And then we have to run back. Swap her out for Blackwall. And then go up there and grab that uh, Warden thing. Nothing to report. Oh. <laughs> Pain in the butt. <laughs> and fall damage. What was that? Oh, my Stop walking that. away from what me when I I'm talking you? to you. Sandra lost her footing. My people have translated that event to manuscript. <gasps> Studies on dragon hunting patterns, migration. <laughs> Durant's theory that dragons can't see the color blue is refuted. With those dreadful raiders out of the way, we can finally lure out the abyssal high dragon. <laughs> you should have the honor, my friend. Oh, good. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait. And then, wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in draconology. I'm off to plant the bait for the high dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. 
Yeah, I'm sure we will. We'll have to speak another <laughs> time. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. So, we need to head back down here again. Back toward the area where we were taking care of all those traps. Sensitive keyboard strikes again. It's gonna have to keep my ring finger retracted. <laughs> have my hand all curled up like a dead spider. And look, now we're, uh, ew. Ew. Gross. We're just carrying that around? Oh. But yeah, now we have to, uh, pull more stuff in these traps that we just disarmed earlier. Yeah, this one looks quite a bit different than uh, Dragon Age 2 did. Would argue that Origins actually looked better than Dragon Age 2. <laughs> Honestly. A dragon. I suppose we must fight it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So here's our Abyssal High Dragon. I'm going to switch to Seraph. <laughs> Dragons in Dragon Age, it's more likely than you think. We've actually fought a, oh God, fought a bunch in uh, this one so far. I am on fire. Okay. Well, did not hit that fast enough. I was just gonna say, this one shouldn't be too bad, because we're, uh, several levels higher, but... You know, it's also still a dragon. Also, that attack is stupid and you can't get out of it. Or at least I don't know how to. Probably focus on getting Sarah back up. as soon as I do I'm gonna do that big wing attack again and I'm gonna get sucked in and hurt really badly because that's what happens oh god Cassandra what are you doing back here honey <laughs> look at her health she's taking no damage and has full guard and look it's doing it again barrier myself, <laughs> so I won't take damage to that <laughs> right leg of worthy opponent. That's right. Gotta watch out for back left though. That's the most of berries. Swap the Sarah real fast. Grab one of those. Alright.
Okay, we're actually taking him down pretty quickly. Quickly for me, anyway. Those other dragon fights were hour-long affairs that were not pretty. Of course, we were a little underleveled for those. Jumped right into the fire. Lovely. being on fire. trying to hit the Inquisitor with that barrier, but I guess Cassandra can have some too. You know, because she's hurting. Whatever, it's fine. As the Inquisitor immediately goes to low health. Okay, we still have plenty of potions down here. She can have all the drinks she wants. down. I'm sure this guy's gonna be devastated that we killed this dragon and he didn't even get to see it. Nameless Blade. Neat. DPS is way too low, but god those buffs. Ah. Superb ring of armor penetration. That's pretty good. And a lot of dragon materials. What? Take all. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now I have the hiccups. Lovely. That's not gonna get annoying. After more than 30 days, I have yet to observe the abyssal high dragon in... Oh, yes? Can I assist you? Hey, we killed this thing you've been studying. The high dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? Oh, wonderful! You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? I thought you would tell us. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your Inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other... He's excited, all right. Wizard's combat looks very slick. Oh, yeah. Mage feels so good in this game. And you can make him do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, that one that I was playing just then is actually a necromancer. And uh, we've got a guy who stops in who's playing a necromancer build right now. And he's having so much fun with it. He actually exploded a dragon. I think that was like last week. He's got a crazy build going on. Alright, yeah, get in here. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use a Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he used, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what all he said. He used this ability called Walking Bomb uh, for part of it. And then everything else, he's got really good equipment, really good character composition and everything. Like, he just exploded the dragon. <laughs> Which is super nuts, but also pretty awesome. Let's see. Cassandra's thing is up here, and Blackwell's thing is over there. I still don't know how to get over to that shard, and I don't feel like trying right now, so... We'll go take care of this. <laughs> and let's refresh our potions, lest we need more later. I forgot I had this extra potion slot, and I've not been using it this whole time. Healing mist, yes! Give me those. I don't think we have enough spindleweed. <laughs> oh god. She gets one of those too. And Sarah gets bees because bees are fun. Dorian also gets healing mist. I'm gonna be putting that on most people. Because we always need more healing. <laughs> and let's see, black wall. Yeah, we'll give you a healing mist as well, just to have more on the party. You play online. No, not anymore. Yeah, if I knew anybody that was still playing on PS4, I'd let you know, but we've all kind of moved over to PC. Pretty much just putting healing mist on everyone because <laughs> I need healing. <laughs> and we have spindleweed for days. Actually, going to put rock armor on, uh, since he gets wrecked a little bit. Save real fast. All right, up we go. More death root.
course they get fighty. And who do we have here? White Claw! Oh. Stop going invisible, that's my trick. There we go. Barely readable unsent letter. Service, can you bring the Grey Wardens back? My men are seeing Darkspawn at night. Darkspawn? It's not a blight starting, is it? You'll protect us, right? <laughs> Good luck with that. And we have a landmark over here. No good. We'll have to find another way. Door can only be opened by some kind of mechanism. It's a landmark right inside the door. Boo. Explode the door. <laughs> right? Huh. Well, how am I gonna get in there? That sucks. But if I run at it really hard... Eh, okay. Probably an operation I need to unlock. If that popped up on the side, please let me know, because I was not paying attention. <laughs> Alright, let's go try to find the shard. Because until we get that opened, we won't be able to finish this place. I wouldn't know. I haven't played Diablo. I'm just getting a uh, Baron's vibe. From my few days in WoW. So yeah, it looks like I should just be able to walk up and then kind of slide down that and then go up there and grab that, right? <laughs> I did play WoW a little bit. Um, Broodman and his friends used to play quite a bit, and they got me into it, and so... Every so often we'd play for a little bit, and then, you know, get bored with it. Come back to it for a year, play for two months or so, and then just, eh. <laughs> I miss my death knight. I started playing in, um, uh, Oh god. Uh, Cataclysm. So I got a lot of- Back in my day, this area was totally different. <laughs> 
which was interesting. Or actually, yeah, I played a couple weeks before Cataclysm came out, and then it came out, and then I got to see a bunch of things change. Like, um... God, what... I'm trying to remember the areas. Is it Thousand Needles that got flooded? Stern note of warning. Clem, don't drink at the mine again or you're fired. Well, now he's dead. Well, we have grabbed that shard. Not sure how to get that mechanism open. I'm pretty sure that's an operation, so... I guess we'll head back to Skyhold and talk to some people for a little bit. heard from a lot of people. Yeah, I never really got too involved with builds or anything. I would pretty much just look one up or have Broodman tell me what to do. Because <laughs> again, that was back before I really got into RPG stuff. And so I'm like, oh, I just want to run and hit stuff really hard. Can I do that? What do I need to click to make me be able to do that? <laughs> and then all the uh, walls of text for the quests. And it's like, oh god, I don't know who any of these people are, or why we're doing this, but I just want to go and run and hit stuff. <laughs> and then I'll sit there trying to do a quest for an hour and be like, why isn't this working? And Broomman's like, did you read the thing? And I'll be like, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm a warrior, I'm not here to read, I'm here to murder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unlock operations, oh there. yeah. I'm not going. Death Drink Springs! We'll have a solution. Crossing the Sulfur Pits operation available. Let's do that so we can go into that area. When did you and Mike and Steve start playing? Did you guys play uh, vanilla or did you guys start at um, Burning Crusade? Wow. I thought that was right. Shepard not read stuff, Shepard fight stuff, that's right. <laughs> that's why we're here. Alright, let's go uh, get this sulfur pit area cleared up. Because you can continue to walk into it for just a little bit and then it takes you right back out to where you were standing and drains your life quite a bit just like falling into the ocean
Which is funny, but then we don't make any progress, so... So these people are gossiping about me and Cullen. That's always funny. I want to say he used to play Warlock, or at least he did when we first started playing. Don't know about before, though. Yeah. Someone's turning into a bit of a dragon hunter, I've heard. I sure am. And since this is done, let's take care of this. Letter to Countess Dion. My dearest Lynette, I was injured on the way back from the Conclave when this insane war erupted between the Apostates and the Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inquisition's people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. I'm told the Inquisition will deliver this letter to you, which is the first peace of mind I've had since the Conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Yours always, elderly. And we got 60 influence. Hey look, that sparkly that was here last time is gone now. Sir Michel's a decent man, and his assistance has been valuable. Hard to believe he was disgraced at all. The situation was complicated. Let's see, Colin's still working over there. There we go, crossing the sulfur pits. Commander, we have completed initial estimates on the construction of an elevated bridge over the toxic sulfur pits in the western approach. The work will require 10 of our engineers and 6 wagon loads of lumber, but the finished construction will allow troops to move through the region at a safe distance from the poisonous gas. Night Captain Ryland, get on it Ryland. Okay, so we can have some noble take care of it for us, or we can go ahead and build a path. Let's just build it ourselves. Inquisitor, reports from Griffin Wing Outposts say that construction of a safe path through the Western Approach's larger sulfur pit is complete. Our soldiers completed the bridge without incident, and it has opened routes to previously inaccessible areas of the approach. Yay, that's what we needed! You can expect the results next time you travel to the region. Thanks, Cullen. Would you like to go now? No, we need to reassign you. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Here's our next big plot thing. Here lies the abyss. I would be starting that today, but, uh, yeah, since that maintenance thing is still up in the air, like I said earlier, uh... Kinda don't want to start it if I'm going to potentially be interrupted, so we might be stalling for the rest of the week. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what this alliances thing is. Lady Tybalt is asking for closer ties and access to trading partners as she tries to circumvent the traditional blockages of the allegiances in the capital. Some houses have switched sides, others ceded holdings entirely to avoid the shame of officially losing all standing. More and more they are concerned with station and alliance over whatever objections they stated about the Inquisition. We gained her trust with alliances. If we are building to continue their relationship, it is only fitting that we strengthen those ties. Hmm. 
That's kind of shady. Let's go ahead and do Josephine's way. Oh, everybody's still working. Okay, never mind. Thought we had one more one more person open. I guess not. Oh god. Rogues with maces? That sounds terrible. <laughs> or awesome. Huh. Let's head back here. And now we can cross the sulfur pits. Which is exciting. Okay, good. There's another camp up there. Alright. We're going to travel over here. And while that's loading, I'm going to run and go grab some more coffee. I will be right back. Oh, I gotta pick my party first. Uh, same people. Well, we'll take Blackwell. Alright. Nothing to report, sir.
god. Oh. Okay, got this guy over here. He's going to be the one to stop me. Oh no. We have stopped him instead. Okay, where are we actually going? We're going over here where the bridge is. Let me have that ghoul's beard. Give it to me. The clicky thing is up there. That's not fair. Ah, oh, fine. Let's take this death rune instead. Yeah, generally I'd start to lose interest in WoW anytime I was required to go through like PvP areas. Since I wasn't really paying attention to uh builds or gear or anything, I would just instantly get wrecked. And then, you know how I am with maps and directions. Just be running around dead for an hour, finally get back to my body, and then instantly get killed again. Okay. Not having fun anymore. <laughs> Fortunately, whenever that happened, uh, could either call on Broodman or one of our other friends to come and rescue me. <laughs> uh. Like, I'm just trying to mine this one resource out here. Can you leave me alone for all of five minutes while I do so? No, you're just gonna sit here and keep killing me? That's great. Ugh. Ha. I vaguely recall Stratholm. Trying to remember which dungeon we were running one time, and I got this really rare sword drop. And I, of course, had no idea what it was. GeForce Game Ready drivers available. Ooh! Aegis of the Order. Neat. Only 14 armor rating though, so eh. Claim! There we go. The thing in the dark! Oh good. The statue is oddly warm to the touch and shivers slightly, as though it might have a pulse. Gross. Ugh. Possibly. I don't remember. <laughs> oh god, the first blight. We're just gonna scroll through this, cause... Uh.
trying to remember all the characters I made over the years. My original was an undead warrior. And then I think I tried to switch gears and play hunter, which did not go well. <laughs> but she was a blood elf, so she was gorgeous. And you know, that's truly the most important part of WoW. <laughs> uh, that was not good with my hunter at all. Then I made a human death knight because we were playing alliance for a little bit. Though I didn't really necessarily. Trying to remember what alliance characters I played because we mostly played Horde. Something over there. The Homewell server was playing alone, so one of my friends we used to boast to reach which. <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. So did you play vanilla at all when it was, uh, I guess, re-released recently? Or did you have any interest in it? Gate of Anderal. Engraved on this gate are symbols of Anderal, the old god of slavery. Oh. Mmm. Lovely. That's the grandmother of all lock. We're not getting in here. <gasps> Break the lock! Oh god, Phoenix. Well, now I don't know how to get over there. We can go take Griffin Wing Keep, though. The Arl's Invitation Operation available. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we had a couple friends who were playing vanilla for a while. I don't think they still play anymore, though. Okay, this place looks pretty neat. Oh, 
Stop running. Black wall. Okay, that kind of worked out. Come on, shield guy, turn around. I could just walk around myself, but that would require me to do stuff. Ain't about that, guys. Oh god, Sarah. Shall we knock? It will be my pleasure. <laughs> Get all these message fragments. There it is. There's too much junk on the floor over here. We are picking all of those up so I can farm power in a minute when I go back to camp. And we have taken down the keep gate, which will give us some sad splinters. The despondent remains of a once proud keep door. I actually don't know if you can use those for anything or if they're straight up just junk. I think they're just junk, but I'm gonna keep picking them up because it's funny. Alright, we've got some ladders here. Go touch the glowy thing, strengthen the veil or whatever. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Best pet ever. Strength, meh. For Legion Lion Shield. I bet that looks good. But that armor rating's not as good as what I've got equipped on my people. Please let me use the ladder. Thank you. Okay, we've got some more of these weird things over here. Check for any loot on this side area here. Aha! Is our inventory sitting at? Okay, we're still in good shape. Onward! Any message fragments. You guys just ripping up all these notes and keeping them on you. Okay. 
he's a gladiator. Oh, he's dead. I was just gonna say, this guy might be causing some problems. Nah. Get him, Dorian. I'll just be over here looting. Is he even shooting yet? Oh, this guy. <laughs> Sarah over there screaming, eat it! Alright, they have now opened the gate. And we'll just loot before we head inside. A little willpower, boo. Do need to get rid of that. They just picked up. Get rid of that one, and yeah. Pirate server that managed to add Nagas and Murlocs as playable races for Alliance and Horde. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. I would love to play as a Murloc. are all just ladders. Yeah, yeah they are. I am ready to serve. All right. Life is nothing. We will raise. Up. Black ball just pull them over. down all that talk okay it's a solid fortress the inquisition could make use of it we sure could couldn't we Okay, that's pretty impressive. Ooh, Kitty's collar. What? Minus a hundred percent damage resistance. Guardian spirit blocks one melee attack every thirty seconds. On dying, seventy-five percent chance to heal for half health resist the lethal strike once every 60 seconds what the hell a narrow leather band embossed with a design popular in Hanley some years ago tuft of orange fur is caught in the buckle oh spirits whisper across the veil but their voices aren't clear briefly they conjure the memory of a little girl This item looks illegal. <laughs> yeah, right? That's weird. I've never seen that before. Okay. Cool. Okay, it looks like the landmark is actually underneath me. But hang on, I'm not done looting yet. <gasps> Astrarium time! Hang on, let me save. Puzzle time. 
Let me turn off my camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Alright, so we are making that thing. Okay. I already messed up because I put that line there. Hang on. Alright, and it's a man on fire, apparently. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> constellation Toth. The only constellation to maintain its ancient name in the present day, the constellation Toth directly corresponds to the ancient Tevinter old god known as Toth the Dragon of Fire. The depiction of this constellation varies, usually represented either as a man of flame, in, ag in agony presumably, a victim of the old god, or as a flaming orb. But I guess they didn't want us to make a ball, so here we go. Scholars in the Divine Age attempted to officially change the nomenclature to Ignivir. This is why some old texts recorded as such, but the attempt never caught on even after the eradication of old god worship in the Imperium. Cool. Found another solution. Yeah, when I worked it out in my head right before I started clicking, I had a completely different <laughs> way than the way that I did it. Oh. There's one more thing I haven't looted, apparently. Must be downstairs, I don't know. Err, big scary dragon. This is our place now. Yay. Okay, apparently you got an achievement You're called early. Li Liberator. We've barely been set up a week. I have a patrol out at the moment. Some of the men sighted Darkspawn in the area. I have reports that bandits have taken up squatting in the fortress the wardens abandoned. We're reasonably well entrenched here, but the keep's water supply has been problematic. It's causing delays. I'll prepare the troops for inspection at once. Cool. Tell me about yourself, Ryland. We haven't met, have we? What's your name, soldier? Where have you served? I beg your pardon, Inquisitor. Knight Captain Ryland, at your service. I served with the Templars in Starkhaven until they all ran off to the hills, barking at the moon. <laughs> Commander Cullen offered me a job, and I was glad to do anything to help stop all this madness. Investigate. Yep, this is our fortress now. If you were in Starkhaven, how do you know Cullen? After Kirkwall exploded, Starkhaven's been paid. Rubble fell on much of the city. A lot of people were homeless or trapped in collapsed buildings. I coordinated rescue efforts and met Cullen while he was trying to command what was left of Kirkwall's Templar. You didn't want to leave the Chantry with the others of your order. Sacred duties are all well and good, but someone 
needs to do real work now and then. If the barracks are on fire, I'm going for water, not standing around smiting the ash for heresy. Ah, respectfully speaking, of course. <laughs> How is the Inquisition treating you so far, Captain? It's good work. Some of it's a touch batty. But I'm always glad to be doing something useful, Inquisitor. There's no shortage of things that need repaired, shored up, or just a good bucket of water dumped on them. Speaking of, dumps bucket of water on Blackwall. Though actually, that might be pretty nice. Seems like it would be very hot out here. Report. What's the situation in the Warden's Fortress? Bandits moved in. Worse than quillbacks, if you ask me. They're holed up in there, and using it as a base to strike at our supply caravan. Blasted scavengers. What's wrong with the water supply? The fort's well is full of garbage. Blasted venatori threw corpses in there. Oh. There's an oasis nearby. <laughs> I'm not drinking out of that. Doing a decent job of keeping us away, too. Four soldiers have already fallen to venom and claws. We'll need reinforcements to drive the monster out. Okay. It's like we have to go take care of that Vargas. What can you tell me about the Darkspawn in the area? The Darkspawn seem to have emerged since we took the keep. I've warned the troops not to engage unless absolutely necessary. We don't need a blight in the ranks. We have to find whatever hole the monsters came from and seal it. Report, Captain. What's the situation in the Western Approach? Compared to what you must have seen in the Winter Palace, this place is calm. <laughs> All we've got are man-eating giant lizards, lunatics, monsters, and a giant hole full of darkspawn. At least nobody has asked us to dance with them. All right, fair enough. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. So Rylan is great. <laughs> Let's see, we can rest, we don't need to though. And we can upgrade our potions and, wow. Oh yeah, since this is actually a fortress, we can do all of our armor stuff here too. Oh, there's still loot, give me that. That's the one I missed earlier. It's a good thing nobody picked this up while uh, they were setting all this stuff up. Still a landmark I need to claim though. Wondering if I can get to that from over here. Can I actually climb that ladder? How do I get up there? It's unnecessary platforming time. Get your bingo cards out. All right, and jump. Ah oh, yes! First try! Yes! Ooh. Is it gonna be anything good in here? No. <laughs> That's upsetting. Oh, I actually take damage. Fall damage in my own fortress. That's just rude. Okay, well, let's go take care of these pesky dark spawn. Parchment. I need parchment. Where is it? This is all I have until the next caravan. Where is that landmark? It's driving me nuts. There's nothing I can do for you. You don't think this place is haunted, do you? What with mages and all? Everywhere is haunted. I 
find some dark spawn. That would be great. Hello. Not really playing multiplayer on uh I can't fight air. I'm not oh my god, Sarah. The dark spawn got through. I'm Dragon Age right now. Kind of going through a uh just a solo run right now. Where did they come from? We should find out. This is exactly what the wardens are supposed to prevent. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the problems in the Dragon Age universe could have been easily solved by the Ghostbusters. We just need to get Bill Murray in here. He'll fix it for us. Take out this phoenix. <laughs> and then Dan Aykroyd will show up and try to sell us Crystal Skull Vodka. Egon is dead, and I am sad because he was my favorite. Winston's up to these days. Ooh, hey. <coughs> okay, I get it. I can't walk through this. As I continue trying to walk through it. <coughs> Give me that loot. Okay, so how do we get over there without dying? Okay, we just run over. Come on, come on. Got fall damage from warping up here. Yeah, she's fine. Underwhelming loot for such a cool looking chest. I know, right? That's pretty much this whole game. There are only two shards, which is great. It's going to be all the more annoying trying to find them. Ah, never mind. We're good. Go 
god. I was super into Ghostbusters when I was a kid. So many of those jokes I did not understand. Watching it later and I'm like, oh my god. Why did my parents let me watch this constantly? Ah oh, yes, the alpha cool back. <laughs> I was wondering if you were gonna clip that. You've taken down your alpha, everyone scatter. <laughs> that was a good noise. Don't even know where we're going at this point. But hey. It's about the journey, right? The journey to the dead end. There's another Asturian back here. Let's just have to walk up it sideways. This is very much not how I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh wait, is that the one I already did? No, we just did that one. Hmm. I've been really loving having Sarah around. Ah, uh, you know what? I bet I'm gonna have to go through there. Once I have access to this area. So I probably cannot reach that from here. Boo! Alright, back we go. Time for fall damage. Run, Phoenix, run! Go pick up that shard in the sulfur pit. Hey, princess, how's it going? Hope your writing is coming along smoothly. Let's see. <coughs> All right, let's not run directly into the sulfur pit. POE2, very nice. Actually haven't played that either. I've heard that's a good one though. Hey, we only need to find one more region and then we'll have this map completely filled out. Oh my god. <coughs> Sulfur bad for lungs. 
Let's take out this Herlock, because he's going to start shooting as if we don't. I'm not writing, I'm role-playing a gay pirate in love with a priestess. You know what? That sounds like a good time. I am all for it. Considering picking up a bunch more uh, RPGs once all the big summer sales start kicking off. I think that would be a fun experiment. in a game where the gods are tangible beings interacting with the world. I've always liked that as a concept. We've been picking up a bunch of weapons. Let's get rid of that. POE2 and Tyranny are probably the biggest must-play RPGs of the past five years. Alright. I'll keep an eye out for those. Uh. Hi, Rod. Where am I going? There. <laughs> oh, okay. I just have to climb up the ladder there. And yes, I do have chat rules. This is amazing. Thanks for following. Appreciate you. <laughs> so you can't be you. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to have Shax as at least one of my alerts. I have um, Failsafe as my hosting alert. Blech. Oh yeah, we're trying to find that landmark again. I'm pretty sure I can only get to that from the outside. Third party program for streaming. I'm using OBS. Oh, if you're talking about the alerts, um, I'm using Streamlabs for that. I remember having a hard time trying to get to this landmark and it's like just in a really obvious spot. Hmm. If you want, I can show you how to set it up. Let me in! Oh. 
I have to let myself in. Just the Radeon one for now, very simple, but not much customization. Oh god. Now there's a scroll over here. Grip and wing keep. Service. The raiders are pathetically inadequate tools. <laughs> That's rude. They litter half the waist with traps for the abyssal high dragon, hoping she will stumble into one. We'd better be off we'd be better off hiring jesters to bait the creature. At least we get our money's worth. Yeah, well, the dragon's dead. None of this makes any damn sense. Just like this freaking landmark. Where is it? This is driving me nuts. Let's try up here. All right, you're really selling me on PoE 2 now. <laughs> I may have to go investigate that as soon as we're done here. Can I climb up there? Is that where it is? I'm going to be upset if that's where it is. Oh my god, let me climb down the ladder. Go! Go! I know this is absolutely riveting to watch, but it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Touch the merchandise. Some of it's poisoned. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rod, you know how I navigate. Come on, man. What, Rylan? Okay, yeah, it says the landmark's like right there. Oh, there's a book here. That's new. Griffin Wing Keep is a critical part of the Master's plan. You are instructed to hold it against the Inquisition assault to the last man. Okay. That worked out well for them. to get up there and like jump over the side okay we'll come back to that one we have other things to do like this water tastes funny <laughs> that's gross yeah let's go take care of the water supply that's a little bit more important than marking a uh, marking the landmark something in here. How do we get in there? <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, let me jump over this. Ah, here we go. Is there a ramp on the other side that leads me directly up to the door? Maybe. That's not how I play this game. Almost. Come on. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Give me that bottle. And I'll take that cheese as well. I bet it's all soft. It's been sitting out here in the sun. That's it, I'm making nachos for lunch. <laughs> West Hill brandy, notes of black currant with a honeysuckle finish. Also tastes like brandy. You know what, I'd try that. That sounds delightful. I just grab one of my daggers, take some of this cheese, and spread it on some crackers or something. And look, there's sausage up here too. Mystery sausage. I'm hungry. <laughs> ah. Okay. Back to the water situation. Your companions don't just gain approval or disapproval with you, but with each other, so they're really cool interactions. Oh! That's both exciting and terrifying. I'm always so worried about pissing off my companions. But I do suppose it adds replay value, so... for it. Yeah, your companions can piss each other off too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. That does sound like fun though. Okay, so what happens if your companions don't like each other and you like have them in your party at the same time do they just refuse to cooperate or do they just kind of dig at each other each time like Alistair and Morgan style there's another landmark re <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the ritual tower. All right, let's go take care of those guys. Um, let's climb up the ladder. dialogue scenes a lot, butting in on each other's dialogue and stuff. Ha! <laughs> okay, that does sound like fun. Oh god, what is happening over here? White cloth! No laws! Oh. That was not the stream, that was the game. Yikes. Alright. 
I love that so much that it actually works. Retrospect, do you think Jack should have smashed Miranda against the wall if you took them both together? Oh god. <laughs> I feel like she definitely would have. She would not have put up with any of Miranda's uh, attitude, that's for sure. Man, they would have constantly been at it. I feel like Tally would have tried to uh, power Legion down at least once. But then I feel like if he, you know, told her to stop, she would have begrudgingly accepted and tried to behave. <laughs> but yeah, I know, Jack and Miranda. Volatile combination there. Creator Telly, please stop trying to locate my off switch. <laughs> Telly would have definitely slept Kellis for <laughs> Gears for elevator talks. <laughs> Tally likes you more than she hates Legion. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Oh wait, no, that was that landmark that we couldn't reach because it's on the other side of that gate there. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. We did unlock a couple more operations. Let's see if we can open up some more stuff. And we can go visit Cullen. Maybe. I was about to say, uh, why is the hall on fire? It's fine. Josie's still good. So I wonder what happens if you actually ignore the, um... Is Knight Captain Ryland satisfied with his post? It's not an easy assignment, but if anyone can handle the approach, it's him. I wonder what happens if you ignore the assassination... ...plot on, uh, Josie. Like, can she actually die, or do you just not get stuff for doing that, or...? Because I always take care of that one, but I'm just curious. Inquisitor, I'm pleased that we were able to work together for the betterment of the people of Redcliffe, Arling. May Andraste watch over you. Thanks, Tegan. You're cool, I guess. And we got gold, yay. Okay. Inquisitor, we were... Eagerly awaiting your presence. Some of us more than others. I wasn't... Uh, I mean, I was. We have work to do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> good RPG, she would die. I don't know about this game, though. Yeah, I don't know if they're just gonna ignore that. 
Ambassador. I mean, that would, like, break the game super hard if she was to die. You'd miss out on a lot of stuff. Ambassador, I apologize for any unpleasantness that might have arisen from my last correspondence with the Inquisition. Yeah. Hmm. My people have been under tremendous strain for too long, even before the destruction of the Conclave, and it has taken its toll on all of Redcliffe Arling. But that is in the past. Today I write to offer an invitation to the Inquisition. The Ben Orn of Callan is part of my domain and now lies empty. Ben Alara lost her life attending the Conclave. Her only living relative holds land too far away to administer both. By Ferelden custom, the lands are now the property of whoever claims them through the skill of arms. A tournament will be held at Callan to, with the victor taking the title as their prize. The Inquisition may send a champion to fight in the melee if you wish. Sincerely, Arl Tegan. Josephine says we can't truly run a Banord, but a well-chosen envoy would win us for Elden allies. We could send a champion. It may not be wise to win, however, for Elden's old grudges. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> mm. Sure, Cullen. You go take care of this one. All right. Inquisition kind of sucks at being a proper RPG at times. Great adventure game, though. <laughs> See, that's why I'm worried about playing, you know, more detailed RPGs. Because I forget about stuff so often that I would just wreck myself before I even get out of the gates. It's bad. And that's just plot-wise, that's not even talking stats. You know those would be totally wrong from the start, too. <laughs> but hey, that's one way to learn, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's go bother Cullen, and then we'll go back to... Uh... Oh wait, there wasn't anything to open anything up in Western Approach, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Beric, do you have anything new to say? If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. Uh, I've already asked you all these questions, Beric. Carry on. Yeah, that's true. That does add replay value. Colin, what's good? First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. Not by choice. They were manipulated by Corypheus. Sure, that's a comfort. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. Hmm. Uh, tell me more about Samson. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. And if Meredith says his behavior was erratic, you can only imagine what he was doing. Ah. Oh. Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as Lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him, but he had choices. 
He could have found another part. Uh, don't you walk away from me. We're not done here, sir. Was there something you needed? May I ask you something? <laughs> Always. Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen to leave that life, but I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. What would you suggest? Some call the circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to lyrium. Some call it a gift to forget the failed heroines, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. I learned the hard way. I always side with the mages in Inquisition because the mages are way harder to fight than Red Templars. Yeah, I can imagine the mages being a little bit more difficult. Ugh. Do you think that could work? Would people accept it? Mages would be watched, but could pursue interests outside the circle. Neither freedom nor prison. I don't know. You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden? After the Ferelden Circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. They kept people safe until she was killing all those people. You said Meredith was unstable. <laughs> she was my Knight Commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the blood mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the mages. It was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. I believed she was serving the city. I never thought to question her, not until it was too late. You can't control everything. You stood up to her in the end. If I hadn't, would I be like her now? I wanted mages locked away as much as she did. I trusted they were treated reasonably well, but I should have done more. I should have looked into it. It's not yet enough. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. I will see it through. You've mentioned siblings. With everything that's happening, do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Your sister tracked you down. She didn't know where you were. I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. It's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the blight. Yeah, his sister stays on top of him. The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I hadn't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many possibilities. No. Oh. That's all I wanted to know. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Okay, what else do you have to say? Is there something you need? Stop walking away from me. Tell me about your colleagues. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. <laughs> but I enjoy working with her. She is quite pleasant. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods. She's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? I'm glad we were able to secure the Olesians as allies. I've received word from the Imperial Army. 
They are ready to march with the Inquisition when called upon. I have no more questions. I That's a blatant lie. Back. Stop walking away from me, Cullen. Okay, so, since we are officially romanced with him now, we can do this. Or at any point, we can just tell him, no, this isn't working out. We will never be clicking this. Do you have some time? For you, always. Ah. The commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. Teehee. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. You don't have much patience for nobility. I'm glad my title didn't scare you off. I hadn't considered. I have no title outside the Inquisition. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone in my life. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. He's so quiet. But yeah, so from here on out, I can just stop by for this at any point. Think you could slip away? Yay! <laughs> and then he smirks and walks away. And sometimes the NPCs come and interrupt that scene as well. Which is great. Okay, Solus, do you have anything new? We must stop the Warden from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. Grey Wardens have always been dangerous. They care for nothing beyond stopping the Dark Spawn. Okay. Like a fair maiden chasing a butterfly off a cliff. Except if you don't stop them, we'll all fall. Both fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. Wasn't wanting to completely throw them under the bus, but okay. We're just gonna match Solus's anger for now. Let's see. I don't think anybody else has anything interesting to say. I had been planning on going a little bit longer today, but I'm actually really hungry, so I need to get off and go eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll pick back up tomorrow. Uh, hopefully there won't be a chance of being interrupted tomorrow by that uh, other thing, but we shall see. So we'll go ahead and save here, and I will go through my inventory right now, actually. Well, my lunch is cooking, so it won't be an issue tomorrow. Because if I don't do it now, I'm going to be scrambling tomorrow morning. Alright, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, as usual, wash your hands, take care of yourselves. And I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye.